Man, what's up, people, man? You know, today in Africa, uh, young African entrepreneur, we're we getting killed on valuation. We, we literally getting killed. Even though I see a lot of uh, young African entrepreneur raising some uh, substantial amount, and what I mean by substantial amount, one million plus um, per round, which is very interesting, but that number is way too low uh, compared to foreign companies or foreigners doing business in Africa. Uh, but we getting killed. But what was valuation? Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative company. entrepreneur from Rwanda. Pour plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henry Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henry Nyakarundi. Basically, what decides valuation? Because a lot of time, young entrepreneurs don't even know how this game is played, man. Because it's a game. If you guys don't know, all this is a game. You know, so valuation is very simple. It's buyer and seller. You know, there's a buyer, which is usually an investor. And there's a seller, which is usually the entrepreneur. So you come in, you're selling equity. And the buyer come and say, I, will, I, I accept the valuation. Uh, of let's say 1 million and from that moment that's our valuation is set right and then the next round same thing whatever agreement happened sets the bar of the valuation but when I look at uh, Lion the, the, the company the transport company that Uber just invested uh, where they dropped from 2 billion to half a billion valuation a sh massive drop when you look at WeWork went for 43 billion to, I don't know what it is now, but I can tell you, it, it's barely 10 or, or 15 billion dollars now. You know, that's, and, and those businesses, there's nothing great about those businesses. The technology is, 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 is all right, it's just how they sell and package, right? And then they're able to access a very developed ecosystem because valuation, it's really, uh, there, there's different matrix that you know uh, a lot of investors accept especially in tech uh, space that we don't you know we don't have uh, here in africa now i've talked about it and it, it becomes frustrating because at the end of the day those who are able african entrepreneur able to travel abroad or get connection who have studied abroad and have a a, a, a very good network so those who have those access are really really able to, to, to raise this capital because again raising capital is all about access don't let no one fool you it's all about who you know period there is no I want this competition or my product is the best or number one or yes growth can play if you're growing and you dominate the market but even then to raise capital it's about connection but going back to valuation you know how can you position yourself where you can, uh, you know, build a, a strong valuation. Well, first of all, you need to find someone that's very good, financial guys, very good at matrix, building a, 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 a model, financial model, that's going to determine what your valuation is, because that's all it is, you know. And then from there, you have to be able to sell, right? Sell, sell, sell. That's all it is, because that's all what those companies do. When I read, and I'll share the link, I was watching, that's why I'm doing this vlog, I saw this, uh, uh, this interview on, C on CNBC of Lime, you know, they also kind of pivoted and restructuring, got rid of 20% of their, their staff, because they, you know, they, this coronavirus was killing their business. And, and the guy, very sharp guy, the, the CEO, was... Um, was talking about, you know, what the future looks like and, and, and how they just raised 100 plus million, how the valuation of the company have dropped from 2 billion to half a billion. Uh, but they're able to still raise because again, um, and their business model, how they dominate everybody else, etc. And then check out the interview. But, but on the core of this, this video that you look at, you see that it's a selling game. Right? You, you're selling the concept. You're selling the potential. You know, the potential of what this company can do, whatever company that is. 
you sell the the potential of of how big it can be because every investor know every investor that is smart enough know that valuation don't mean nothing right it's on paper all this billion dollar valuation it's on paper it's not money cash until you get money in the bank and all but it can drop like that just like that look at we work 40 billion dollar company valuation dropped to 10 plus just overnight overnight so it, it, it's a game guys it's a game that we need to learn we need to build the ecosystem and i'm not saying it's a good or bad game because there's good players and there's bad players i mean uber um, facebook and all those companies went through that amazon but it was a little bit earlier went all through that uh, 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 system and and, and uh, uh, what's the other one uh, uh, Airbnb right and some of them played the game right they actually grow they actually dominate the market and oh you got bad player I think we work was a terrible player I think lime is definitely not worth a two billion uh, uh, valuation I don't know if it's worth a half a billion uh, you know those those mini scooter that you see, if you're in the States, you see all over the big cities. I don't see that as a, they, 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 there is no IP uh, per se on the hardware, but the software nowadays, you can duplicate that very easily. We've seen that we have Uber-like uh, system and then unless they come up with a payment system. Anyway, um, not, 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 not to get in too much detail, but I want to get back to this valuation uh, um, game that is really killing us out here. And, 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 and this is what's happening. Let's say you do a, a, a line business, you know, a scooter. Forget about scooter, because I, I don't think that will work in Africa. But anyway, let's say you, 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 you do, you have a lot of car sharing apps, right? Car sharing apps that are a good valuation. But let's say you start, your local Rwandan or Ugandan or any African country, you know, your local guy, you want you develop the app, you, you you get some traction and all those things, and then somebody I'm not going to use Uber, but somebody else start the same thing in the states uh, or in any Western world. So you're on the same level, but you're not on the same valuation. You're on the same level, but you're not on the same valuation, <laughs> and that's crazy to me, right? Because a lot of those investors, when you say you're a business in Africa, oh, Africa is highly risky. Well, you know, risk risk can be mitigated, first of all, and then risk, there's risk everywhere, man. In America right now with Trump, man, it's, it's, it's risky as hell uh, right now to do business, uh, you know, with all these changes and craziness happening. In Europe, it's risky also, right? With all the Brexit and all those things happening and you don't even know... Well, they tell you, you know, political situation. All oh, so it's a game. It's a game. And we don't. We, we we haven't been able to strengthen this ecosystem locally. And the problem, the biggest problem with valuation in Africa, is we letting outside investors because most of investors doing business in Africa, their headquarters are outside or the, the money come from outside, dictate. The policies of valuation in Africa, literally, they dictate, right? And unless you're well connected, unless you have a very strong network, and unless you're lucky enough to get a local investors and build your company, because today's valuation in Africa is based on what revenue, profit, which was what traditional business used to be. But in tech, it's difficult to do that because you you you. It's very difficult to build profitability without growth, uh, growth of your company. And, and most, you know, you, you can read more about that. But you have to grow your company, grow your user base. And then from there, you can build profitability because you got to get users on your platform, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is what the problem is with this game. And in seven years that I've been back in Africa now, I've seen changes, absolutely. Things are looking good, but they're not moving fast enough, for sure. Um, but yet, the ecosystem is still broken in a sense where our local, there's, there's a lot of money 
in Africa. There's a lot of money in Africa. There's a lot of billionaires we have in Africa. But we are unable to pull money. And I wish there's a study that, that define how much money, how much investment, because we talk about now in tech, for example, there's over a billion dollar coming in in Africa. Where from that billion dollar, how much of that money is from African you know, investors, from African money? What I mean by African money is, does not come from a foreign bank uh, to your bank account locally, but it's money uh, um, that, that was locally uh, owned by, by investors or angel, angel investors or individuals that invest in a specific company. So what's that percentage? Because that will tell you why the rules of, of valuation, of, of, of amazing valuation does not apply to us. And that's, as long as we don't solve that problem, well, guess what? All this talk we, we're doing about how technology is growing, how we, 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 you know, investment is growing and all. If you look carefully, you know, if you, if you, if you spread the dust and you look closely to what's going on, you find out that we are not leading, Africans are not leading in innovation. We just still consuming more than we creating. And that's what is going to be the main problem. And until we solve that, then guess what? This revolution, or technical revolution, we're going to miss the boat, guys. We're really going to miss the boat. And, and, and very few people are talking about this, man. I don't understand. We're getting hula-la about all this money coming in, and we're not even profiting uh, from this investment. Um, you know. So anyway, I want to share my piece. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, and if you think I'm wrong, man, please do, do so. Say, say on the vlog or on the comment below. Take care.